Hello and welcome everyone. This is Amanda Rose from Archer Travel Service and today we are going to talk about the ultimate guide to Facebook for travel agents and at the end of this presentation today we are going to be doing a giveaway as well as if you have any questions please put those in chat if they pertain to what I'm talking about during I'll answer them during the presentation if they don't have to do with what I'm talking about during the presentation we'll answer those questions at the end so thanks again for joining us and without further ado let's get started everyone so Today we're talking about Facebook and we're going to be doing an intro. We're going to talk about why you should love Facebook, um, getting started with Facebook, how to set up your business account, uh, planning and scheduling your posts, connecting with your customers online, uh, how to build your audience and how to turn them into customers. And this is all general things um, as well as advertising on Facebook the future of Facebook for travel agents, and then suggestions to connect with your clients. So we're going to be going over that today. So first, intro to Facebook. Uh, so the question everyone asking here is probably, should I use Facebook to market my uh, travel agency or yourself as a travel agent? Is it worth it? Uh, these are probably two of the most commonly asked questions uh, we get from travel experts every month. I mean, a lot of you guys ask us all the time. And the answer to that is yes, absolutely, you should use Facebook. Social networks have become a crucial component of every branding strategy, and Facebook has still an edge over most of the other platforms with over 3 billion monthly active users. 3 billion monthly active active users, not just users, they're actively on Facebook. So this social platform will not only allow you to gain more web traffic and brand exposure, but also attract more customers and grow your sales. But what may not be so clear about Facebook is the real why and how you use it, which I'm sure is why you guys are here today. So why you should love Facebook. So if you've been using the platform for a while, which I believe some of you have to promote your products or services, but still haven't seen the results you were looking for, you should ask yourself these two questions. Have I really taken advantage of it? Have I really taken advantage of all the tools Facebook has? And have I understood how to do it correctly? Uh, these might sound like basic questions, but Trust me when I say we have a lot of travel agents that haven't discovered all the benefits and potential of Facebook yet to grow their business. That's the truth. In case you're wondering why you need to start investing more of your time on this platform and what are the amazing options it offers for travel agents, today we're going to be sharing them with you. But last but not least, Facebook will help your customers find your business based um, on their interests and how they behave on the internet. So this is really a great option for you guys. I love Facebook. We use Facebook. We're live on Facebook now. We're live on YouTube as well. Um, but I'm just, we love you guys that join us on Facebook as well. So the biggest mistake businesses make on Facebook is, this is one of the biggest mistakes. Brands, the biggest mistake brands make is to treat Facebook only as a social platform. In fact, if you've been looking around or into your competitors' Facebook accounts, other travel agencies, other travel agents, you've probably seen a lot of them, and they're using the same strategy over and over. They post some pictures, videos, or blog content once or twice a week. They may even have paid to boost their brand online a few times, like paid ads. But at the end, they struggle with the same thing. It's just not enough to grow. So, of course, we all know Facebook is used mainly for users to communicate and share moments with their family and friends, but within that community, there are also people who use it to search for exclusive deals, read posts about new travel destination, find travel trends, or a place where they can get their answers, uh, their questions answered quickly, like Q&A. Um, through Facebook groups, and this is where your opportunity lies. 
So let's have a look at what Facebook brings to your business and why you should love it more. So um, let's help you understand your customers. So being able to point out exactly what clients need and how they want it and what they care about are some of the biggest goals for anybody marketing travel. That's you guys. So if you don't have time or experience to get the data from tools such as like Google Analytics, don't worry because once more, Facebook has your back. This platform has an insight tool called Facebook IQ, also known as the insights tool, where they share all the data, data from all sectors and you can find the one for the travel industry to figure out what is most popular and the travel trends that people are liking on Facebook so this can help market your Facebook business better. And you can see, which we're going to go in a little bit, what people like are liking more on your page versus other things so that can help you create what you might want to post or not. So number three, promote your content and gain more visibility. Another great way to grow your business is just just, oh my gosh, I can't say this word right. Strategically, got it. Strategically use social marketing tools such as Facebook dynamic ads to gain more visibility. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this. Ads, ads, how do I use them? Advertise your products and services. And like I said, ads may not be right for everyone, but for some of you that want to use ads, this can be an opportunity for you. So what happens when you're not familiar with such a tool? Fortunately, there's a great way to reach potential customers by boosting your content, whether it's a travel guide, a video, a blog post, um, maybe like a, an ebook you've created, um, maybe a tutorial of a, of a brand, uh, uh, like a video tutorial of like their resort room or whatnot. Boosting your content is an economic alternative to dynamic ads and it gives your content the chance to be seen the right by the right audience without going through the process of creating ads. So it's an easier way than using ads. The only thing you'll need is to have a, your content already posted on your business page and then you're ready to go. So boosting can be a way instead of actually making ads. So you can head to your page and you find the post you want to boost, then you click the blue post button or the promote button and you follow those steps you'll be asked to set your maximum budget the duration and a few more details such as your audience payment method it's very easy and affordable and later today uh, in this guide uh, i'll explain more about this process in detail next number four let you become a travel ninja who doesn't want to become a travel ninja so if you take a step back and rethink your social strategy, you'll be able to grow in a matter of weeks. The secret lies in converting your experience into a marketing weapon. Just like Bruce Lee once said, be water, my friend. <laughs> How? By establishing yourself as a travel expert and adapting yourself to your customer's needs. Be adaptable instead of trying to just push your brand online. Users are looking for someone to help them organize their dream trip, not only a brand. Just like in Mike's sales training, he talks about you are selling you. You are not selling a brand only. You have to sell yourself to get the sale. So remember, users are looking for someone to help uh, them organize their dream trip, not only a brand with lots to offer. They need a tra travel guru, that's you, behind their computer who has all the right answers, best ideas, and experience. So it's you they want to help them, not the brand. So by adapting yourself to your customers' needs and by answering their questions professionally, they will always come back to you and recommend it to their friends or family. Um, when they want to organize a trip. So the way you're presenting yourself will get you referrals. So you can always check out Facebook's traveling, uh, travel advertising dedicated page for more resources and I have it linked in this PowerPoint. So next, getting started. 
If you're now convinced that Facebook is a great tool to help you grow your revenue and attract more customers, now you can begin setting up and optimizing your free business page correctly. That's what I said. Free business page on Facebook in just a few minutes. So just keep in mind that business pages are a little different than personal pages. To succeed and leave customers with a good first impression, let's check out the step-by-step -step guide that I've prepared for you so you can achieve it. So what is a Facebook profile, first of all? A Facebook profile is just your normal Facebook personal account, the one you've been using to connect to your friends and family. You can see their posts, newsfeed, reels, whatnot. Um, and according to Facebook terms, you're only allowed to have one personal account and you're not allowed to use it for business purposes. This is what it says in the terms and conditions, just FYI. So what is a Facebook page? This is actually a public profile for businesses, brands, and other organizations. Um, fans or followers will click the like button to access the content on their preferred pages. And once they click that, uh, you'll have their permission to make your updates appear on their newsfeed, like your pictures and posts will show on their newsfeed. And then unlike the personal profile, which we just talked about, you'll only see uh, your posts and the ones of the pages you follow, but won't see your client's updates. So you're not going to see when you have a page what your clients are posting. But on your personal profile, if you're a friend with someone, you would. So. Why should I use Facebook page for business? A Facebook page is a great way to establish your presence online, especially if you do not own a website, which you guys do have the option at, to create your own custom website on evotravelagent.com. Um, but if this is just another option, it's another uh, platform. So it's sort of like your own website on Facebook. Um, the main reason why you should opt for a business account is that there's no limit of followers or friends specified. So there's no limit to how many people can follow you or whatnot. While if you have a personal account, the maximum number of friends are 5,000. And that might sound like a lot, but you have to remember um, that any business's main goal is to reach the right audience. And if you do it the right way, you'll end up with much more than 5,000 customers or people following or liking your page. So um, let's move on. Okay, another aspect to take into consideration is the fact that a personal account doesn't let you create ads. Um, it doesn't have a contact me button or a visit my website button like the business pages. So this is why you would want to do a business page. And if you have, if you have a look at all the customizable options it has, you'll quickly understand all the opportunities and tools that it offers you to grow. One good example is the option of adding customized buttons on your page like we just talked about and driving users to do something such as contacting you directly, booking an appointment, and signing up for your newsletter, visiting your website, maybe your first mates link, your Viator link. Um, there's more customizable options for a page, a Facebook business page. So here's two ideas. Uh, that I just wanted to share about posting. So two ideas for posting is showcasing travel destinations. You can explore various ways to showcase travel destinations through Facebook posts, including sharing stunning photos, videos, and virtual tours, or by sh sharing our free videos that we give you. All the suppliers provide you marketing materials, and you could use those as well. You can also highlight the importance and importance of storytelling and conveying the unique experience offered by each destination by actually using a travel agent rate or fam trip yourself by going and then showing that trip on your on your story your post your page and whatnot and sharing that to your clients of how amazing that destination is you can also use your clients testimonials and reviews um that help build trust and credibility to your Facebook page. So if you can get them to give you uh, something in writing or a quote or whatnot, and you can say, oh, my client who just went here said blah, 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 and you can quote it. 
I absolutely love this vacation. Thank you so much for being a wonderful travel agent. And then you can show those on your page, which helps build cre credibility to not only you, but to your brand. And so um, this is a great way that you can, that uh, this is a great way to also something that you can post. And also you can have it customized on your uh, business page as well, that you can have them leave reviews uh, or that you can have them leave positive experience as well. A group is not considered a page, no. Groups are separate from pages, good question. Okay, so this is just a, a very brief general way on how to set up a Facebook business account. Um, so first of all, prepare and create some basic info before you set it up. First of all, you'll need to have a few details on hand. You wanna know the name of your business and you can use a business name or some short keywords relevant to your specialization. So for example, you could use adventurous honeymoon travel or family holidays travel agency. And then you wanna think about a short description or bio about your business. So you're gonna, this is gonna be the about section to tell people a little bit about your business and services you provide. So you, if you are in a specific niche, like weddings or honeymoon travel, then this would be something you would wanna talk about in there. So you wanna to try to make it concise and professional but you always want to have an upbeat, friendly tone if possible. And be aware that there's only 155 characters, so it's important to include just essential information. You can't just, your about section isn't very long, so it's you have to be very concise. Then, a profile or cover photo for your page. So you're going to choose a picture that will represent your business well, whether it's a picture of yourself or your logo, Make sure it fits um, the box cropping uh, for the image in the correct size. And then also what's really nice and easy, a free, oops, a free tool you can use, which I went over in a, another video, was Canva. Canva is a nice free tool that you guys can use. And usually it has resize options as Facebook profile or Facebook cover photo, and it already has the size for you. So that's really nice. And then if you want more help with that, you can always um, look at the Facebook guide, which I have linked here, and it, it tells you uh, good recommendations for designs or logos. But I definitely suggest that you have yourself in either your cover or your profile photo, because like I said before, you are selling you. You are not just a brand. You have to sell yourself. Okay, and so now that you have all those that basic info gathered, now you can actually create your business page. Facebook doesn't require you to have a personal account to actually create the business page. Um, you can actually just create one from the login page. However, it is recommended that if you do have a personal page that you connect it. Um, it's definitely recommended. So number two, create a business page. If you already have a personal profile, you can just access the option by clicking the link on create page on the drop down menu um, right next to your notifications icon. Or uh, I can have, I have this link for you guys in the presentation that you could totally click. Number two, choose the type of page you wish to create. You can choose between business or brand and then community or public figure. Definitely, I would suggest you do business or brand because then it allows you to have an address and check-in features to your page. But if you want to do community or public uh, public figure, that's totally up to you. And then I have it linked also in the PowerPoint if you want more information. Then customizing your page. Um, I'll, I see some questions in chat, and uh, after I, I talk about this last section, I'll answer some of those because I see it has to do with it. So customize your page. Facebook will ask you to upload a picture or logo of your company. Um, once your profile picture is uploaded, you'll need to find a cover picture too. These two steps are not mandatory, but 100% you should have those. You definitely need a profile picture and a cover photo. If you don't have one, then you're not going to build any trust or credibility on your page. 
Um, and after your images set, are set, head up to the About section, which we talked about, and then you can add more information in there, like your bio, your website link, your username, contact info, um, and whatnot. And if you guys would like this PowerPoint after the presentation, you can email me at amandarose at archertravel.com and I'll gladly send it to you. You'll have to email me though, amandarose at archertravel.com. And then also what's nice is that um, you can check your mailbox for the business page. Wait. Yes, you can check your mailbox and follow the easy uh, steps suggested by Facebook to complete your profile. So adding, after adding all the necessary information, you'll be able to start inviting all of your contacts to your business page, which is super great. So like anyone in your contact book and uh, the option will be on the right side of your page where it says uh, no friends who might like this page. And then you can just click the invite button and that's really nice. You can invite everyone to like your page and it sort of gives a shout out that you just started your travel business or you just started your Facebook page and lets them know that you're in the travel industry. So I love that feature. And then step five, you're done now. What's next? At this point, your page should be quite complete and you'll be ready to start using it. Now, don't rush on creating ads at this stage. You still haven't added any content, posts, or offers for people to see. You don't want to just like start doing ads if you haven't been relevant or actively posting on your page for a while. Um, on the top of your page, you'll see a menu with different options such as page, inbox, notifications, insights, publishing tools, settings, help, and you can navigate through each one just to see how it works. I suggest that. Okay, so I saw some questions in chat, so I'm just going to go back to those really quickly. Okay, do you suggest a personal picture or logo for your picture? I mean, that's really up to you and your branding. It depends how you want to brand yourself. Do you want to brand yourself uh, as a logo for your profile picture and then put yourself in your cover photo? Or do you want to put your logo in your cover uh, photo and then yourself in your or in your profile uh, profile picture? It's really just up to you and your branding and how you want your page to look. It's just personal preference, to be honest. But I definitely suggest you show yourself in there because, like I said before, you are selling your, yourself. You're not just a brand. And then, oh, I love this. Yes, Shane, chat G, uh, GPT, which I talked about in another webinar. Yes, that is a great tool if you have a hard time trying to find... Um, an about section or you need help writing an about section or anything about I love that that's a great tool and it's free you just use it in your browser and then what's the difference between a private group and a business page a private group is um is just a group that people can join um and people can talk and discuss things whereas a business page is like uh, a branding yourself Branding yourself and, um, here we go. Sorry, I was trying to type something in chat at the same time. So a private group is something that multiple people can join and whatnot, whereas a business page is really just a brand itself. So all the major brands or people who own businesses usually have a page over a group. A group is just like a community of people. Okay, perfect. So let's move on to planning and scheduling your post. So now that all the basics are done and you're ready to go, you'll need to start thinking about planning and scheduling your post. Organizing a content calendar is probably one of the easiest things you can do, yet lots of brands do it wrong or fail along the path. So let's try to make it easy for you. Why is scheduling important? The truth is, uh, Right planning will not only ensure success, but it will also save you time and effort. You know what the quote says, failing to plan is planning to fail. And you guys should be good planners because you're travel agents planning vacations and trips for your clients all the time. So you want to be good planners. So by having all your posts scheduled, you won't see your engagement rate decrease because you forgot to share new content or post a new picture. You forgot to post because you were out of town or on vacation or something. You can schedule those 
ahead of time so you always have something going out on your page and you can schedule them in a way that they rotate so it's not the same post over and over. So having a calendar will help you take note of days in which you'll share posts and the type of content you'll be publishing. And then here's a clear guide about it. And what's really great is that Facebook lets you schedule posts. Um, they let you schedule posts within their, they, they're a scheduler themselves. You don't have to go outside of Facebook to schedule them. You can literally just schedule them through Facebook. So what should I post? This is a tricky question. The thing about content is that every business has its own way of tracking customers. So some people share videos, some pictures, while others share travel guides and travel tips. But what really matters is, is to find out what draws clients to your brand and how you can help them. So be sure to showcase your offers and services clearly and truthfully. Definitely, honestly, we don't want to lie on our page publicly. So make a list of all the services you offer, products, destinations, and of what makes your brand unique. Why should they book with you over someone else who's doing the same thing? So what makes you unique? What are you about? So having a list in front of you will help you decide what type of content you should share. For example, if you sell adventurous trips to Asia, maybe you could create something inspirational and exciting, um, videos of pictures of Asia. Uh, on the other hand, if you sell honeymoon packages, maybe you could create a blog post highlighting the services included and use the power of compel uh, compelling storytelling uh, to talk about the romantic getaways and exotic things they might experience there and or tropical beaches, candlelight dinners. Um, so it's really whatever your niche is, what is your niche? What are you trying to focus on as a travel agent? That's what you wanna be posting about. So focus on explaining how well organized everything is and make them feel like they won't need to worry about anything else other than enjoying the beautiful moments of their travel. You wanna handle all that so they're stress-free, stress -free. You want to make them feel happy and secure, make their dream come true, make them smile, and then you know they'll want to book with you again and give you referrals. So, again, you're going to focus on your niche and what you're good at. If you're not good at something, then either you need to learn how to get better at it and practice it, or stick to what you know sometimes, that's better. If you're really good at writing stories and, and conveying a great travel message by writing stories, maybe that's that's what you do more so of. Not that you're not gonna do other things as well. Maybe that's what you do more so of because you're just so good at it. If you're really good at uh, posting uh, videos or short reels or TikTok, stuff like that, maybe you focus more on doing stuff like that. Um, if you're good at taking pictures, Maybe we focus on some beautiful pictures. And what's really great is the suppliers and uh, also at Archer Travel, we all have options for you in different types of things that you can use for free to post. And, and even blogs and stuff sometimes too. So um, post examples you can see here, just some fun different ones. So you have many, um, I mean, we have many post examples on our page too and whatnot. I mean, I would suggest going and looking at your competitors, look at other travel agencies, and you, maybe they're not your competitors, maybe they're fr your friends, but go look and see what other people are doing and how it's popular. Like maybe go look at the public consumer site of Carnival and see what's, what's popular for them or depending on what you're trying to sell. So you have many options here, but you can also play around and share other types of content, such as live videos, um, screenshots of your customer re reviews. Uh, just be sure to use a variety of content. Even though you're good at something, you can focus on it. But like I said, you don't just want to do that. You want to add other things in there to make sure people don't get bored, right? You need to switch it up a little bit and add other, other things. And you can do this by checking out your insight. You can see how your content's doing by checking out the insight tab to see how well your posts are doing. Um, and if you do like ads, how sales are going and whatnot, 
you can see how many people viewed it. And so this is a really great thing on Facebook is the insights tab. And if you're still unsure of what to post, like I just said, go ahead and check out what other people are posting. And if it's doing well, maybe make it make something like that of your own. Okay, now let's connect with your customers online. With all the new technologies and innovations out there, they're coming out daily, guys, so many. It's very common for customers to search on their own and buy almost everything online themselves. Despite all the online websites available and competitors, travel agents still play a significant role in helping travelers uh, book their holiday vacations. Having this in mind, we can say that maintaining good communications with your customers will be another big goal for your business. This is how you keep clients. Communication. Definitely want to communicate with them. So how can you achieve this? You go back to your business page on Facebook, navigate to the settings, and then messaging tab. And in this section, you can customize how your page will respond to your potential customers when they try to reach you. So if you're not available 24-7 and you're sleeping and someone tries to reach you, this is a great tool. You can set up automatic responses that send instant reply to whoever messaged you on Facebook. And you can set up a greeting for customers that are contacting you the first time. Uh, now keep that in mind that this won't do the job of replying and giving them the info for everything, but it can at least be a stepping stone if you're not available that actual second, and then they don't lose interest in you because something replied to them immediately, right? So over one in three travelers across countries are interested in using digital assistance to research your book travel. So that's how you can set it up is, is you can have like your instant message come back and it's sort of like a quick digital assistant for them. And then you come in and you sell yourself as the travel agent. So how to build your audience and how to turn them into customers. So building an audience, expanding it, and making sure that this audience will turn into converting customers are all very difficult challenges. Luckily, there is a way to address these difficult tasks. And as often happens, the beauty of the solution lies in simplicity. Do your best to be helpful. Sometimes it's just a simple answer. Just do your best. We're not perfect. We'll try our hardest to do our best. When you create your content, focus on making sure that this will be valuable for your audience. Maybe you can offer solutions, travel tips, answers, insights um, to make complex things for your clients easy. Try to make it easy for them. Be like, you know, I can make this, um, your travel vacation stress-free because I'm going to be doing all the planning and you just get to enjoy it. And if something goes wrong, you call me and I'll fix your problem. So, I mean, there's many solutions to this. A good way to start building your audience is to get engage with some Facebook communities, which I know some of you already are on. Um, be that person who has the information they need. Talk to them. Comment in their pictures and their posts in the travel groups that you join um, using your personal account or using your, your page account. And then you can also, it just depends. I sometimes page can join a group and sometimes it doesn't. So it just depends. I would, it just depends. I would just say it depends on the group. Some groups only allow people and some groups allow brands. So I guess you're just going to have to play with it and see which one you can respond with. And it's a great place you can go for free to reach out, sort of brand yourself, give people advice, and then they come back to you, hopefully, um, and book with you. So it's a great place to start Facebook groups and communities and join them. Facebook has a search bar at the top where you can search for questions made by other users. Look for travelers asking for things like, what is the best hotel in Cancun for honeymooners? What activities do you recommend doing in Nevada? You can find those and then you can go answer them yourselves if you'd like. Sort of like a free marketing tool. And these are great opportunities to market yourself even uh, and even share your Facebook or website. People will be thankful for your help and might even visit your profile business page to see how well and why you know so much. Bingo! Hooking them in. You threw out the fishing pole. You got the fish and you're hooking it in. Okay. So I'm going to... Because 
Uh, I realized we already have been on for 30 minutes and I do have more to share. So I'm going to make this into a part two next week and we're going to talk about advertising and then I have slides on advertising um, and then I have some more information for you guys as well. Um, I'm just going to end with this, which is suggestions for connecting with your clients and then we'll do a giveaway and um, if we have any Q&A, we can do that too. So next time we'll go over the ads. Um, so right now, just suggestions for connecting with your clients. By being real. Okay. Admittedly, this one is less of a suggestion and more of a must. Whatever direction you go in, you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself and you have to be real. People can tell when people aren't being real, so you got to be real. Also, by being funny, sharing a laugh with followers could be a great way to make a name for your business. Twitter accounts for a cookie maker like Oreo and fast food chain Wendy's, as well as the bizarre television ads from the deodorant seller Old Spice. They provide fun examples of how to stick the landing by being funny. So if that's in your wheelhouse and you, and you can be funny, that's a way to connect with people too. If your wheelhouse isn't really being that funny, then maybe you might want to shy away from that one. Uh, number three, by being current. Pop culture nods and memes give brands other fun ways to connect with customers. Like, for example, if you run a coffee shop, uh, you could let followers see what your signature cup looks like in Baby Yoda's hands. Or you can schedule tweets about a sale on your e-commerce site, tack on gifs to it to get people more engaged. Plus, these give you a chance to get, on, uh, to get in on online discussions as they happen, and it makes people want to converse uh, with your posts and whatnot, too, so it's very fun. And then the last two are by being tech savvy. There are always several ways to integrate tech into your branding. Yes, beyond effectively leveraging your social media accounts, offering features like the chatbot assistant, using uh, chat GBT, uh, G? P P T. I don't know why that's so hard to say for me right now. Chat AI. How about that? <laughs> the AI chat bot. Um, it can help you and it's an easy option. Usually there are free options you can use too. So just being tech savvy, there's so much out there for you guys to utilize. Uh, the supplier marketing materials as well. Uh, the free marketing materials from Archer as well. So there's so much out there for you guys. By being socially aware also, whether you whether your work is tied to a cause or a movement, adopting moral and ethical stances can become a branding decision in itself. Um, it can even score you some publicity, as it did for the razor brand, Gillette, when they released an ad pushing back uh, toxic... Um, oh my gosh, I'm not sure why my brain's not working right now. Masculinity, thank you. Toxic, toxic masculinity. But if you're um, contemplating on this route, beware. Not all consumers are fans when you take stances like this. So it's really up to you. And if you go down this road, be sure you do it uh, with the first point in mind that you are being yourself and you are authentic and you are being real. So just be very careful when you stand for a cause or a movement too because that can also take away clients from you. So it's really just up to you if that's something you want to do or not. And then just, um, yeah. So now let's do a hashtag, hashtag Facebook. You can be entered into the giveaway today and I will be giving out a $30 shop.archertravel.com card where you can get your customized flyers, your customized videos, uh, get your information and put it in that. And I just want to say bundles. You can get a bundle too and they're 20% off each item. So hashtag Facebook. Um, and then, I love that, Sheen, great. Don't be afraid to ask your friends, while we're getting hashtags and I'm just going to look back at it, the chat, don't be, don't be afraid to ask your friends and family to follow your business page, 100%. Um, yeah, there you go. Christine being tech savvy over here using Branch Up. Shane using branch ups. Yeah, so that's being tech savvy. A business page, yes, they are free. Oh, Sherry Hamby. I have a group with over 1,300 members, and clearly that's free marketing. 100% free marketing. Is a business page free too? 
hundred percent. And we talk about groups are a great way to build communities and free it's free marketing. So either way, but definitely create a, a page because the page you can actually put, um, you can customize it. So here's my website. Here's how you contact me. If you have questions, message me. It's a, you get other options as well. If you, if you build a business page. Cool. Okay, I see a lot of hashtag Facebooks and chat. Just remember, you have to be like and follow this page in an active travel agent to win. Awesome. No questions here either. Perfect. Okay, so let's do the giveaway. Drum roll, please. Oh, I, I remember my mic cuts out background noise. So you can't hear me drum roll. We'll just pretend I drum rolled then. And the winner is Moana Wise Aglium. Moana Wise Aglium, congratulations on winning the giveaway. So congrats, Moana. Just email me at amandarose at archertravel.com. Again, that is Amanda Rose, like the flower, all one word, Amanda Rose at archertravel.com and so thank you guys so much for joining me today i'm glad you guys could sorry we went a little bit over but i appreciate you all um and i hope you guys just have a wonderful weekend happy friday and if you have questions feel free to reach out to archer travel 818-248-1511 again that's 818-248-1511 we are open until 5 p.m pacific time and then we'll reopen on monday at 8 30 a.m pacific time um i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend thanks again and bye everyone